guys welcome back to another video in today's video we will be looking at another lead code question called container with most water the question states that given n non negative integers a1 to an where each represents a point at coordinate i comma a of i n vertical lines are drawn such that the two end points of line i is at i comma a of i and i comma 0 find two lines which together with x axis forms a container such that the container contains the most water you may not slide the container and n is at least 2 let's consider the given example where the vertical lines are represented by the array 18625487 in this case the maximum area which is represented by the blue section is 49 So let's consider the example given in the question, where the vertical heights of various lines are stored in an array height, whose values are as follows. The graph also helps us to visualize how we can select a container. So basically, we we need to select two lines, one among which is the x-axis, and we need to form a container such that the container holds maximum quantity of water. We declare an integer variable water and initialize it to zero. we also declared two more integer variables l and r and point it to the leftmost and rightmost vertical lines respectively the algorithm is pretty simple where we run a while loop while the left value is less than the right value and at each iteration we calculate the area based on the smallest possible value of either the left or right vertical line so initial values of water is 0 and initial values of l and r are 0 and 8 respectively so first we calculate since uh, we check the value of height of l and height of r since one is less than 7 therefore we calculate the area as height of left into right minus left therefore we got we get the area of this rectangle which is shown by the red region so the value of area is 8 further we check whether the value of area is greater than water if so we update the water value therefore the value of water is 8 and since this condition was true we have incremented the value of l which is now 1 so again we calculate the area now since the value of 8 is greater than 7 then for we enter the else condition and calculate the area as 49 now again we check whether the value of area is greater than water since the value of area is greater we update the value of water as 49 and we decrement r so the new values of water is 49 and the values of l and r are 1 and 7 respectively so again we check whether height of l and height of r since height of l is greater than height of r we again enter into the else condition and calculate the value of area as 18 then we decrement r and since the value of area is not greater than water we don't update the value of water again we calculate the area as 40 which is shown by the red region and since in a case the value of 8 is not less than 8 but they both are equal therefore we enter the else condition and decrement the value of r so now r points to the fifth value since the value of area is not greater than water we don't update the value of water and the new values of water is 49 l is 1 and r is 5 again we perform the similar operation where we calculate the area the area is calculated due to 
this else condition therefore we decrement the value of r and since area value is not greater than water therefore the value of water is at as it is again we calculate the area check whether it exceeds water decrement r and since the value of area is not greater than water the value of water is as it is so we perform the same steps for two more times where we calculate the area decrement r and finally we reach a step where the values of l and r are equal that is both points to the location 1 so finally we break a while loop and return the value of water which is 49 so now we can begin with our code as we have seen in the explanation part we initialize water to 0 and declare two variables left and right and initialize them to first and last vertical lines respectively then we start with a while loop where we check whether the value of left is less than right and we declare another variable called area and we calculate the value of area by comparing the heights of left and right if the height of left vertical line is less than the height of right vertical line then we calculate area as area is equal to height of left into right minus left and we increment the value of left if the if condition fails then we insert an else condition where we calculate the value of area as height of right into right minus left so height of right is the height of a rectangle and right minus left is a width of the rectangle and here we decrement the value of right and finally we compare whether the value of area is greater than water If so, we update the value of water to area. And finally, we can return the water variable, which contains the maximum quantity of water. And now we can run our code. So the code runs fine and we can submit it. and a code got submitted successfully. So if you found this video helpful, do hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos. Thank you.